Hello, all my friends out there. Um, this is Joy, and the channel is Everything Diamond Painting. How are you today? How are you? I'm so glad you're with me. Um, I am going to do a different type of framing project today. Um, I'm going to take this uh, Day's Dream painting, this Halloween painting that I got. It really came out nice. And I'm going to put it on this canvas. Um, you see the whole canvas this way. And what I'm going to do, and then I got the spray. I'm going to show you how I frame with the canvas. Um, and I've got um, some Valspar uh, Perfect Finish Metallic spray paint. And it's going to be silver, as you can see on the, on the lid. Okay. We're going to do that outside. Anyway, um, I went and bought this at Walmart. It was like nine bucks, this uh, canvas. And this is how it looks. It's got the wood in the inside. That way it's easy to hang. You just put a nail in the wall and hang it up here. You don't have to get any hanging tools or screwing anything in. Makes it really simple. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the margins here. And... Uh, And then that cuts off all that extra little glue stuff that you have on there. Now I have sealed this painting and I've sealed it with my uh, poly acrylic um, clear gloss paint. I'll show you that. There we go. This is what I'm uh, using to seal my uh, uh, paintings with that I'm not going to have in glass. Do you need to make it up a little clearer? It's protective gloss. It's clear gloss. And it dries really nice. You still have the nice sparkle on the canvas. See? You still got the nice sparkle. And just put a light coating on it. And then with a damp cloth, just um, wipe over the top real lightly just to get the uh, residue off the top. And then the... Um, polycrylic um, just sinks right into the canvas so it holds the, the diamonds in there so they don't fall out. And I've used this on a lot of my paintings and they're still beautiful up on the wall. I haven't lost any uh, drills off of them. So we're just going to get this off. Okay. So so here I've done, I've cut all the edges off. I didn't want to bore you with all the time it took me to cut. So here are all the edges and then it's going to lay on my canvas like this. I'll put it this way here. You can see the whole thing. So now I'm going to spray paint the edges around the canvas here and up through here. I'll probably, you know, and I don't have to be careful. I can get it all in through here because it's going to, it's going to go on this canvas. So I'm going to take this uh, canvas outside and we'll do some little um, spraying with it. We'll be right, I'll be back with you. Okay, you want to uh, do this outside because the smell of this spray paint can really linger in your house for a long time and you don't want overspray to get on your furniture and stuff. And I do have a pair of gloves on because it does I don't want to get my hands all. I ended up accidentally spraying my bare feet the other day, and it's or a couple weeks ago, and it's just now coming off. <laughs> so you want to be protected so you don't get it all over everything else. So I got my newspaper down here, and I'm going to start by uh, just spraying the sides here. Got this all shook up really good. All shook up. And here we go. Come on, spray. There. And this is like a silver. I thought that would go really good. I didn't want to make it black to hide the background of the painting. Get this spray here. Make sure I get all that. And see, you want to make sure you have the gloves on because so see it's all over my hands already. Okay. And I'm going to lay it down this way. 
And I'm just going to spray in here because just make sure that I have it covered where the um, where the painting is going to go. There we go. Um, so there you go. Let's see. Check the edges. I think I got some fingerprints on here somewhere, but there. I think it's doing okay now. I can't see the glare. Let me see. Yeah, how's it look to you on that end, hun? Good? Fine. Okay. Alright, so the next thing is you let this dry for about 24 hours because I've tried to um, glue the paintings on there when they're still tacky and it doesn't really work very good. So we've got to take this, let it dry, and then I will finish the rest of it when um, it's ready to go. Okay, we'll see you in uh, 24 hours. <laughs> Bye. So here we'll give you a little bit of uh, relief here while we're yeah. waiting for the rest of the video to continue. Got my dogs Jasmine and Jackson out here and they love to play in the front yard. They would be out here all day if I let them. And uh, they don't like to go in the house. They like to stay out and run around. But there they are, little playtime. Thought I'd give you some enjoyment there a little bit. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> and they love to run. Ah, quit biting his neck. Jasmine, quit biting his neck. Yeah, she likes to do that. Anyway. So, and a little look of our front yard here. You can tell, I don't know, leaves are starting to fall, purple, getting fall here. Yeah, things are starting to wither out in the cold weather. Still looks green. Give it another month. Give it another month. Oh, my roses. There we go. And back to the docks. Okay, we had enough of the dogs? They're my babies. I love them. Okay, they're the sweetest doggies and they just love to wrestle. Love to wrestle. Okay, there you go. That's it. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> okay, folks. Hi, I'm back. Um, gonna do the rest of this uh, framing here now. Um, nice work uh, with... Uh, video magic. Um, 24 hours doesn't seem like 24 hours on a video when you're watching. I cut and paste, cut and paste on it. So it all becomes one video. So anyway, um, I've got my bubble wrap underneath here because I'm going to be using the um, uh, the dots glue. And then my canvas here is um, all spray painted. You can see it all on the sides there. And um, I've marked, I don't know if you can see it here, I've marked the little corners here where I want to um, even up the, the painting so it lays even on the canvas. What I wanted to um, mention to you also is the drill size for this canvas was 9.5 by 13.5 inches so I bought a canvas that was 16 by 12 inches so that's how I figured out what I needed okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and I got my glue my my dots glue okay dot stick there you go and I'm just going to dribble some on here okay there you go. And I've used this quite a lot, so it's kind of sticky on the top. Um, I got my little boat here to keep my uh, brush in. Got my brush. Okay, that's about the size of brush I'm using. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this glue and I'm just going to dribble it on here on the top first. And then I'm just going to paint it on there. And of course, the brush I'll have to um, throw away after, no matter how much you try to wash this uh, dots glue out of a brush, it never really comes out. It's really tacky and sticks together. So 
yeah, just pre be prepared that you'll have to throw this out. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue down here, and I'm going to spread this. Now it does take a a while to for this glue to um, set to become sticky. So when I get done with this, I'll have to um, I'll show you how I get it to get it to stick. Okay, got that. Okay, let's put here. Let's glue. And you don't have to um, glue the whole thing because um, just getting the edges down will keep it on there permanently. Um, I've done a, another one this way and it's worked just fine. Okay, and then I'll get this here. And let's go ahead and Push this. Okay. So there we do. We got the glue on there. And put a little bit more here. Okay. I'm going to put my uh, brush in the little tray there so it doesn't get over. Shut the glue so it doesn't spill. Okay. So I'm going to bring the canvas over here now move this paper let's bring the canvas over and I don't know if I'll be able to get the whole thing in here at one time but we'll see all right so I know my hands are going to get a little bit sticky with it because I have to touch it but I'm going to try to get it lined up with those pen marks and Still move it around. It'll slide to get it even. There you go. There you go. So what I do now, I can roll this over here just to make sure. And then for about an hour or two, okay, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to set it down like this. Hope it shows in the frame. And I'm going to put a couple books on it. Just to have it pressed down. Yes, I have lots of books here. Lots of books. <laughs> okay. That should do it. All right. So, another uh, time lapse. And we'll be right back. Okay, folks, I am back. Um, gonna do the rest of this uh, framing here now. Um, nice work uh, with uh, video magic. Um, 24 hours doesn't seem like 24 hours on a video when you're watching. I cut and paste, cut and paste on it. So it all becomes one video. So anyway, um, I've got my bubble wrap underneath here because I'm going to be using the... Um, uh, the dots glue and then my canvas here is um, all spray painted you can see it all on the sides there and um, I've marked I don't know if you can see it here I've marked the little corners here where I want to um, even up the the painting so it lays even on the canvas what I want to do um, mention to you also is the drill size for this canvas was nine and a half by thirteen and a half inches so I bought a canvas that was 16 by 12 inches so that's how I figured out what I needed okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and I got my glue, my my dots glue, okay, dot stick, there you go, and I'm just going to dribble some on here, okay, there you go, and I've used this quite a lot, so it's kind of sticky on the top, 
Um, I got my little boat here to keep my uh, brush in. Got my brush. Okay, this is about the size of brush I'm using. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this glue and I'm just going to dribble it on here on the top first. And then I'm just going to paint it on there. And of course, the brush I'll have to um, throw away after no matter how much you try to wash this uh, dots glue out of a brush. It never really comes out. It's really tacky and sticks together. So yeah, just pre be prepared that you'll have to throw this out. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue down here and I'm going to spread this. Now it does take a a while to for this glue to um, set to become sticky. So when I get done with this, I'll have to um, I'll show you how I get it to get it to stick. Okay, got that. Okay, let's put here. Let's glue. And you don't have to um, glue the whole thing because. Um, just getting the edges down will keep it on there permanently. Um, I've done a, another one this way and it's worked just fine. Okay, and then I'll get this here. And let's go ahead and push this. Okay. So... There we do. We got the glue on there. And put a little bit more here. Okay. I'm going to put my uh, brush in the little tray there so it doesn't get over. Shut the glue so it doesn't spill. Okay. So I'm going to bring the canvas over here now. Move this paper. Let's bring the canvas over. And I don't know if I'll be able to get the whole thing in here at one time, but we'll see. All right. So I know my hands are going to get a little bit sticky with it because I have to touch it, but I'm going to try to get it lined up with those pen marks. And still move it around. It'll slide to get it even. There you go. There you go. So what I do now, I can roll this over here just to make sure. And then for about an hour or two, okay, so I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to set it down like this. hope it shows in the frame. And I'm going to put a couple books on it. Just to have it pressed down. Yes, I have lots of books here. Lots of books. <laughs> okay. That should do it. All right. So, another uh, time lapse and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. Oh, get my rag out of here. So, I'm going to take these books off. Yes, I do read a lot. <laughs> um, I'll take these books off of here. Put them down here. And we'll turn this over and see how it worked. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to... It's all glued there. And it's all glued there. Pretty good down there. Yeah, about an hour, I'd say. All right. And uh, I'll give you a good picture of this. Just um, let me get my thoughts together here. And um, I'll give you a full view of this in just a second. Okay, there you go. The finished product. So um, I think it came out pretty good. How about you? So that's my um, other technique for framing uh, my paintings. Very uh um, inexpensive and um, comes out pretty good. Okay, very, very neat and tidy. All right, that's the end of this one. See you next time. Bye.